to check out Berlin Lake. They've got a bike path that goes along and I'd like to bring on my e-bike, but I don't know, we'll see. <gasps> no! Poor chipmunk. Bonner Road boat launch. And I killed a chipmunk. I'm not very happy about it. This stupid thing ran out in front of the car. Located in northeastern Ohio, Berlin Lake is one of the largest inland lakes with over 3,000 acres, which makes it ideal for all fishing and boating activities. Created in 1942 by the Army Corps of Engineers to control flooding, it offers visitors a wide variety of recreational experiences, whether it's camping, boating, picnicking, or just relaxing by the water. Tank trip brought to you by my thoughts. <laughs> today, today I'm going to talk about ethics, fun stuff, photographic ethics more so. What brings this up is I actually saw a photo contest in a magazine. Came across an image that made me stop. Technology today has changed significantly since when I first started taking photos. You know, I went to college for photography, was a photojournalist for 12 years, worked for various newspapers, traveled across country a few times to work for jobs. There's a set of ethics that you have to go by as a photojournalist, as a news photographer, be it TV or still, and even reporters have to follow these ethics. This is not something that you can manipulate. This is not something you can change. You have to, it's just what news is. You're not gonna be around very long as a news source if you're unethical. So you kind of have to follow the rules. If we're gonna get into documentary type photography, remember, you can't manipulate it. You can't add a sky that doesn't exist. I mean, this is the sky I have today, but I can't change it. I can't make it stormy. I can't make it moody. It's bright, sunny, puffy, white Simpson type clouds. And, and that's kind of how I handle my Instagram account, how I handle my YouTube channel, how I handle my photography. I will take a photo and create a mood, how, how I felt when I captured the photo. I will manipulate a photo to emulate that mood that I felt. Put a sample here so you can kind of take a look at it, but there's a before and after and you can kind of see the only thing I'm really doing is the color, the vignette. I add a vignette to it to give it that mood, that richness, that feeling of ah. Oh. And right now I'm at a park I've never been to before sitting out here watching the water at Berlin Lake talking about photo ethic because of this one photo that I saw. There is a nature trail which I can't hike because my knee won't let me but there's a nature trail that you can take around here. <gasps> what are you? God he's big. They're huge. I'm being stalked. They keep flying over my head. <laughs> I'm not on a schedule. I'm going to randomly post videos. So if you do want to know what I'm doing, if you want to see where I'm going and exploring with a crappy knee, an overweight, out of shape body, follow me along. <laughs> I'm not going to let the fact that I can't really walk very far stop me from exploring, stop me from going out and taking photos because this is what keeps me creative. And hopefully in about a month, I won't be able to really go anywhere because I'm going to be recovering from knee surgery again. That's something I've been looking forward to, but it's something I need to do because walking down that pathway, it hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it hurt. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment, don't like. If you don't like it, then hit the down. I don't care. Do what you want to, but I hope you subscribe. I, I hope you follow along and you watch my journey that I'm going to take because again, I'm never going to lie. 
I'll edit, but I'm not editing out important information. Anyway, till next time, I'll catch you then.